In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use parenting to attach one object to another object and create a hierarchy of objects which we can move around the screen at the same time. In my scene, you can see that the snowman is behind this tree. I want to bring my snowman slightly to the side. To do that, I could left click on the different parts I wanted to move, holding down shift and select all the different parts and just move them like that. But you can see it's quite easy to leave things behind and quite time consuming to do this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using something called parenting. If I click on this sphere here, over in the outliner, which is this top right hand panel, I can see what I've actually selected. I've selected something just called sphere. Well, that's not a very useful name. So by clicking on the yellow square, I can rename it. I'm going to call this body because it's the body of the snowman. If I go and click on one of the arms, this is the right arm of the snowman. I can see this is just called cube. Again, using the orange square, I can rename it to R arm or right arm and the other one can be the left arm and so on. So I want to attach the arms to the body so when I move the body I want the arms to come with me. I do this by clicking on the arm and it's now highlighted over here and then I can just drag this arm onto the body, this, this top arrow up here. If I hold down shift it actually allows me to parent it. And you can see it's now attached to the body because arm is sitting underneath body in terms of the hierarchy. If I go to the left arm, same thing again. I click and I drag that onto body, hold down shift, let go, and I've now got the body with two things attached. So if I click on the body and I move it, everything moves together. If I click on one of the arms and I move it, I can see what it's attached to with the black dotted line. Now. So far so good, but I want to move the head along with the body. And I can see with the head that actually the eyes should be connected to the head and the head should be connected to the body. So I've already named these. And with my head, I can just click on the left eye, drag it on top of head, hold down shift, let go. Right eye, drag it on top of head, hold down shift, let go. And find the nose, where's the nose? If I click on the nose, I can see it's still called cone. So I'll just call this nose. There we go. Uh, drag that on top of head and let go and you can see inside head now I have left eye, right eye and nose but this still isn't on top of the body I can move them separately but I want them to be attached so what I do is I hold down click and drag head on top of body hold down shift let go and now you can see body has a head with multiple things inside it and a left arm and a right arm so by moving the body I can move everything together but I can also, if I want to, rotate the head separately and move the arms separately from the body. If you want to detach the head from the body, you can select the head either here or here, then drag the little triangle onto where it says collection, hold down shift, and it detaches the head from the body, or it unparents it. And now the two of them can move separately.